Please welcome back to the show, Lisa Durgan. Too excited, oh, no. otherwise. Okay, race the altar. Is it already on the air? Is it starting? Yeah, we just had our first debut last Wednesday night. Yeah. Yeah. I, know. I like how you watched it, Craig. I Thank know. You. I know. I was busy Wednesday night. <laughs> uh, well, what's the premise? Is it the reality? The is, uh... It's like Fear Factor meeting the newlywed game. Okay. And I host it and run yeah. them through it and put them through a lot of. These challenges. are couples that are going to get married, and they the winners get the the, the show pays for their wedding. Is it something? Exactly. And Colin Cowie, a famous designer for the stars of all their weddings, he's doing the wedding. Yeah. Big open checkbook. NBC takes care of it. And uh, what do you do? I host the show. What do you get? I'm like, I'm like, uh, if it's uh, the Fear Factor version, I make yeah. them do all the stunts. I make them jump off buildings. It's really crazy. But if I'm, if I'm, if I'm with my girl and I see you, I might get distracted. Is that, <laughs> does that, does that happen? Why would you do that to the poor girls? Why would you guys? Why would you torture them by Ask having you? NBC. They had some kind of a <laughs> idea with this one. No, actually, I'm rooting for both of them. So it's, you know, I'm I'm a girl's girl and I'm a guy's girl. Yeah. So. Do any of the guys? Do any of the grooms? Do any of the grooms hit on me? Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to watch. Girl. Yeah. Have you have you taped the whole thing? Is it, yeah. Well, except for the wedding. Oh, okay, okay. And if I told you who won? Yeah, no, you can't do that. No. I'd have this to is pay a big a deal. <laughs> See, are you still doing the Fox Sports though? Yeah. Right? Hey, you and I have the same, you know, background. Yeah, yeah, sports. So what do you do? What do you do on Fox Sports? You do you report? Do you, are you are you anchoring or you? I'm anchoring, yeah? and thank you for watching that too, Craig. I'm sorry. <laughs> I watch, I watch Tom Arnold. He's my buddy. Tom and I work together. Okay. Now I do the updates at the update desk. Well, that's great. And you know, I like how you had your little shtick. Didn't you use Jumanji? I had catchphrases, yeah. Catchphrases. Ad, ad nauseum. I had a million of them. Two, uh, so many. You want a few? You want me to give you a few or not? Well, I have my own, Craig. I don't need yours. Oh, cool. <laughs> Especially during baseball season, there's a lot of Japanese players. There, yes. And I speak a little bit Skoshi of Japanese. Skoshi is a little. Skoshi is a little. Have mm -hmm. you been to Japan? No. No. How'd you know Skoshi means a little? I just figured it out. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I used... listened to you and I figured it out. Right. So like. I also when... had to put on my bike helmet. By <laughs> season or, or you know right. NBA because there's hardly any Japanese players as there is in baseball right. so when Hideki Matsui makes pop fly and that thing's out of the ballpark I say Suburashi yokatakimashita oh, and that's... everybody out there who's Japanese obviously there's no Japanese in this room tonight right. so you guys don't know what I said that sounds great that means way to hit the well ball. done way to go yeah. And so I throw those things in once in a while. And because you were a model in, in Japan, Japan years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Say a few more things. Uh, what else would you say? Okay. Someone hits a, a ground ball, and what would you say? Hey, oh, crappy. <laughs> <laughs> bad. How would you say that's bad? I wouldn't want to do it. Come on. You're, you're supposed to be positive when you're angry. Okay. Well, okay. Watashi no name wa Lisa desu. Dozi hiroshiku. Wakarimasu ka? Then wa hajimemashou. Oh, that's good. So. you hear... When you're a blonde lady talk that way, it's extra exciting, you know? <laughs> what were you just saying? What were you saying? I said, it's, my name's Lisa, nice to meet you, let's get on with the show. Yeah, okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> um, you're living in L.A., you've yeah. been here for a long time, you're here for a long time. Yeah, not too long, yeah. Well, you, where'd you go, San Diego State? San Diego State. Yeah. And are you starstruck by any of these celebrities, or are you used to seeing them now? Because I know you go out. I, I, well, I don't go out very often. Whenever I'm out, you oh go out. Oh, my gosh, you're never out. I always see you out. <laughs> I've seen you once at Mastro's. That was it. Yeah, that's right. That's I've once. seen you at the Playboy Mansion, oh, too. Crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> He's been there. You weren't there last Saturday. but No, I wasn't. No. It's a, it's a new side of me. <laughs> Riding motorcycles now. Um, uh, yeah, so the starstruck thing, it, it uh, doesn't, uh, no, not at all. Maybe, okay, one person. I can't wait to hear who it is. Well, you on occasion, but uh, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Star 
Orchestra, because I was a huge Elton John, I still am, Elton John fan, and his lyricist, but it's not Elton. It's not Elton. It's, not Elton. it's his lyricist, Bernie Taupin. Bernie Taupin. And I'm at this dinner party, and somebody says, oh, do you know Bernie? And I, my red wine went inside, it, like a dress like this, and the Show red wine. Show us exactly how it did. <laughs> Show us exactly Today. Yes. He's so you met him, Bernie Taupin, the great lyricist for Elton John. Just Did you know what he looked like? I didn't even know what he looked like. You know, not enough. So yeah. when I was introduced, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm meeting Bernie. This yeah. is so cool. And so what did he do with the red wine? And then uh, yeah. It was all okay after that. I yeah. played it off like it didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> the dress is ruined. Yeah. Chocolate lace dress with, oh no. I love this picture. Do you have a favorite picture? Yeah. I think this is a cute one. That's kind of cute. Yeah. You like that one? You like that one? This one. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. You know, right before the shot in the net, having a little. You work out, don't you? All the time. Yeah. And, and do you? Uh, what do you do for your legs? You do the treadmill, or what do you do? Why you want to get I your legs looking better? No, no. I, mean, <laughs> I just thought your legs are in really good shape. Oh. Uh, I wonder if you isolate them. Do you isolate them? You do a lot of long, lean muscle things, like you know, running and biking. You don't yeah. do those short things that make your legs all thick. I don't like that. Okay. Well, it's working, whatever it is. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> We're out of time, Lisa. All right. You have to come back, okay? I'll come back again. Whenever you want, okay? Thank you. Big hand for Lisa. <laughs>